Things heating up on the ice Wednesday as the top two boys hockey teams in the state of Vermont put both their respective winning streaks on the line. Welcome to the NBC5 Sports Desk. I'm Noah Searson. A friendly neighborhood rivalry between Colchester and Essex taking on a new meeting over at Letty Ice Arena this evening. Hornets undefeated at 7-0. They'd look to draw first blood and late in the first period. They do just that. Gavin Blunden can't convert, but Andrew Forcier does, making it one nothing. Couple minutes later, it's the other way around. Blunden cleaning it up. Essex up two to nothing. We'll take it to the second period. Ben Sherman with a wrister for Colchester. That's going to help the Lakers force overtime and end in a 2-2 tie with Essex. So forecast for tonight featuring plenty of hoops as well, starting in northern New York. Northeastern Clinton Central looking for redemption against undefeated Mariah. The feature matchup at NCCS pitting Rowan Swan against Evan Manor. Two studs from Section 7. Early on, though, in the first quarter, it was all Manor getting the tough scoop shot with the left hand. He'd lead the Cougs with 13 on the night. But Mariah, they came to play. Cooper Allen burying the triple from the top of the key. Allen going to try one from the corner. Can't get it to go, but Swan there for the rebound. And look at this finish. He led all scores with 18 as a 28 run in the first quarter lifts the Vikings to a 57-43 win. Defense! Defense! Saranac Lake looking to lock up against Plattsburgh on the road. Red Storm up in the fourth quarter and plays like this one will help. Brick wall defense leading to a turnover. Hornets not going away though. Able to get that one to go in the paint. And then later for Plattsburgh, it's Caden Williams floating this one off the glass. He had 18 on the night, but Saranac Lake was relentless. Carter Hewitt heard that name before. He puts that one in for two as a tight one down the stretch ends in a 61-53 win for Saranac Lake. And we're going to finish down in Barry Division 3's Hazen trying to knock off undefeated Spalding. Take it to the first quarter. Jaden Baker going to turn this one over. But look at this hustle play right there. What looks like an easy layup, a block as Hazen is fired up. Spalding still feeling it early though. Cole McAllister getting it going from distance hesitates, but he drained that one. He finished with nine on the night and Hazen trying to stick in it. Brendan Mooney with an athletic finish, but Spalding too much. Cooper Diego going to get a friendly roll later as the Crimson Tide win 55 to 43. Now 10 and 0 on the year.